name is Najma Ismail. So let me read the questions that have been prepared for me. Question number one, how long have you been, how long have I been in the media industry? Wow, let's just say over 16 years. I've been in this industry for over 16 years. Um, I started way back in radio and I'm sure most of you used to listen to me. Um, then I moved to TV and yeah, here I am today on KTN News. So what inspired me to join this field? Well, at first I used to love how news anchors used to read their news, you know. Little did I know how exciting the newsroom gets. And I think the fast pace, the stories, the changing of people's lives, I think that, that drives me, you know. I thrive in this environment and yeah, I wouldn't be in any other industry. How has your career path been? Wow. Um, I started off as a voiceover artist. I used to voice ads and then I moved to an, a radio uh, presenter. Then I moved to radio news uh, presenter. Then I went to, into reporting and then I came to TV. I became a TV reporter, a TV news anchor. Now I'm, uh, I'm an... Uh, now I am an editor and also um, a manager. I think the last question that you guys have for me, if I was not a news anchor, what would I be? Wow, that's a, that's a very difficult question because I think, um, I think I'll be a stay-at-home mom and, you know, just look after my, my kids and, you know, just be a stay-at-home mom and be, you know, that. I think I have been one of the lucky ones. I've had editors who actually we sit down and we plan how we are going to, to you know, how they're going to send me to the field, the stories that I'm uncomfortable with, the stories I'm not, I am comfortable with. So I've not had that um, uh, space. I've not been in that space where I've been sent to do an uncomfortable uh, story due to my religion. I usually discuss it with my editor because if you don't feel the story, then I don't think it's going to come out well. I have goofed so many times. I have goofed so many times, I think, but, but one I think really affected me and I don't speak much about it is when now Westgate happened and I was on air and as it was happening, I was, I was supposed to give all the details. We didn't have any details at that time. That was, I think, one of my worst goofs, one of the worst experiences. It gives me butterflies when I think about it because I really don't like the way I presented it. Um, if I recovered from that, um, on screen, yes, I did recover, you know, but personally, I think it really affected me and I, I didn't like that goof, yeah. So what, what would I uh, like to tell young girls out there who would want to join the media industry? Don't do it for the fame, you know. You will not be able to handle the long hours, the, the pressure, and you know, running up and down, especially maybe during campaigns and there, there's tear gas or things like that. Don't do it for the fame, do it for passion. If you love what you're doing, then you will pull the long hours, you will handle the pressure and yeah, you'll do your best, but just don't do it because I want to be on TV.